I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The Entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? A dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know what about. That missing boy, right? That's right. This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all city hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? 
No records. The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. Oh, right, right. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Uh, it's okay. Allow me. I see. Someone's been faking the entries. No. Who? I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe your partner Merlin helps you. Sounds like he's expected to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got to cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, that's it. Fred's, Fred some... Come on, Tom. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't remember. Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. And what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. What makes you so sure? Is ESP a side effect of your medicinal practices? Now that is out of line! Sorry, officer. I want to help. I really do, but... I don't know what else to tell you. Welcome to have a look around the place yourself. Thank you, Tom. I think I'll do that. Happy to oblige. open window. I can get in through there. Huh. 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 
easy does it. Hello? Anyone here? It's police! Who's there? Ugh, smells like death. Mister. That's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. If you two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. <clears throat> Ugh. 
Did you put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? There's no proof it does. But what if... Do yourself a favor and park that thought. Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. was that sound? Stay behind me. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Gotcha. Stand back. All right, take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Well, where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know, but I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, oh, boy, I don't know. Sure could use a little pick-me-up right about now. I think you're better off keeping a clear head. Now, where's that ever got me? I'm serious. We don't know what's out there. 
All the more reason to put up my liquid shield. Like if something bad's gonna happen, it's gonna happen whether you drink or not. So you gotta decide if you wanna meet this like a man, or you wanna meet it like a drunk. Hardly seems like a choice to me. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. maze down here. has got to be it. This place turns my stomach. <gasps> Things just get weirder and weirder down here. Damn small spaces.
This is hellish. Motherfucker.
none of this is right. Mom? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm here. Everything's all right. Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. The left side is the right side. The scaffold is high, and eternity is near. She she is that a hitchhiker? You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. S 
so am I. Okay. Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from. Currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but... I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Take a look. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home?
It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Do you play? Um, a little. This seems a bit more lively. This is kind of freaking me out. 
It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Ah! Ladies! Hello, hello, welcome! Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> Yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Stan. That wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford III. At your beck and call. But only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Wow, I didn't realize you were, like, famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh, no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see, I'm sorry, I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. But nothing illegal, obviously. Uh -oh. A bit of like obviously. bedtime reading. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. 
Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Why? Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Huh. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am taking the theatrics. <laughs> Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, we'll dry it up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. Mm. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. I can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I... I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? 
I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Nothing. You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. You'll never defeat our spirit. No. No, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you'll let me go free. To fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? Ah. Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I feel like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. 
Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision, and this is Chris's film, so... Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way, now we do it my way. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon, Miss Christine Gordon, I suggest you immediately vacate the premises and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill, ever. Oh man, sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, 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 Jaime. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is, he... And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh... Don't forget to clean up. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, uh, he's not so bad, usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage.
wrapped out, sir. Now, don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait. You guys are both acting, so it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador? <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss BB thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history. Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. Really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway.
Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Ah. Saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. Interesting. Chris, what are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but sounds like I should probably go right to the source. <laughs> What? After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's gonna want to talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. Kinda shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm. Didn't sound fine. As soon as Mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about Mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just... Speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry, we'll put it to good use. You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? 
There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Ah, uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. I gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please, come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... No. Maybe this one? Oh. Where did I put oh, all the... cute bunny. How has this place become such a mess? Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Let's see. Could she comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? 
Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Twenty bucks. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. Wait, how would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get some milk, but couldn't find any. I got you. One milk. One milk. <laughs> Thanks. No sweat. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Man, I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chris, I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously.
I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I... I don't even remember falling asleep. Fifteen... twenty minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait... What happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. 
Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh. Well, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. <laughs> your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I, I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Oh, thanks! Huh. Well, now that was a Italian. curious sound. And a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got a blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. I found a turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh, you can be sure of that. Looks like practically every room in the house. But where's our host? Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I 
found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. I should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? 
Mm -hmm. uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids, making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay.
What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Hey, right at time. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing. Nothing. Just. Try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No. Tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, Gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm... I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. So, let's not fuck it up. Can we help? Nah, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Sure, no one was sad to see it go. Here, why don't you start with these? So, we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's gotta be something. The list sure can't get enough Definitely Frank Stone. Possible. We'll find it. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. 
It mentions Frank? No, but it, it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. An omniverse? Far out. experience anything like that night before or since and don't reckon I ever will again <laughs> heck I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green man's a hero damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit damn crying shame he all but gave up on finding stone at the mill Sam Green ain't it better he came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, Nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. the whole past. say anything but I'm just not a fan of this mm. understandable her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but, you know, those victims could have been any of us, or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris... I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks, me too. Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Why? 
This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? OK, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. Uh... <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one, is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Huh. I used to think it was weird, but... It's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Not a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? Just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah.
Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And gravity. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> oh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Um, so I was gonna say, when I was little, and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember, I kinda like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. No oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that... He... saw things no man should ever see or know what does that mean every time i've ever brought it up gets that look in his eye and i just don't want to see him like that hmm. you sound disappointed no no but i'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad me too
I think this is it. Up there. Oh, thank goodness. Yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! You don't think you're being a little premature with the face sucking? I just wrapped my first movie. I can celebrate however I want. But we're not technically wrapped. Huh? We still have one more scene to shoot. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's oh, gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Yo, you coming? Uh, yeah, be right there. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Get, ah, get off me! Get. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie. I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set.
You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's... different. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save Mom and Dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. Totally. Felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. <laughs> Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed.
But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Uh, I'm just gonna go get some fresh air. You should probably go too. What, like, go, go? I don't think I want you here right now. So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... We're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa! Ain't that something? Ah, rats. What's that? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. <sighs> Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. <laughs> Doral take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Let's go take a look. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night 
We're in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... Why is it always clowns? Okay, so, uh, it's, it's more like me. Dead end. Not this way. What were we? Oh, yes, right. Uh, it's, it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but... He sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional? Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter, that's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap, it is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss, though. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article. It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way, come on. Gotta be a way to get up there. Should open the door, right? Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <clears throat> hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like... Just us. So, I'm just in the way, then. Uh, 
All right, look, the truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. And let's go scrounging. This might work with the generator. Could help with the generator. How's the generator coming? Basically done. Just gotta finish the repairs. Job. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. They got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Okay, what have we here?
So, what do you unlock, little key? Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F Stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh, man. See if the key unlocks the boxcar. need to go up. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Got you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is... is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. This is insane. Who are these other people? This must be how Stone got in and out. Oh, fuck! What is it? Oh! Damn! I think she was one of Stone's victims. They never found her. They never found her. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, 
we can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. We should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. We gotta go. Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I think you're missing the point. This is the point. You've been like obsessed with making this movie all about Frank Stone ever since you heard about him. So? So it doesn't feel like it's our movie anymore. It feels like it's your movie. We're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. I can't seem to get a second alone. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Jaime, I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. So, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there, promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? You?
Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door's a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. Something's missing. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Coming with me, buddy. of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Okay, time to unlock that gate. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads. 
and heads. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, Ray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly, for sure. This whole place is like a film set. Hey, Linda. Check this out. These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. Huh. There is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh, I... Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting in this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I... of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work? Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. Like crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... 
I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. <sighs> well, I call it or no deal. All right. What's it gonna be? Heads. Well, <laughs> them's the brakes. <clears throat> I believe we had a deal. Wait. No, no. <sighs> nice. Very nice. Hey, worth a try, right? <laughs> Fuck off. Yep. Worth every penny. I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or I don't know. All, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god, oh, oh my god! Okay, okay, that was an explosion. That was an explosion. I can't see. I can't. I can't see. Uh, oh my! Oh, the police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police line is still broken. And, uh, I can't see anything. I, oh my God! Oh God! Oh God! Holy shit! Is that dried blood? This is no, there's no way it can't be. Hey, Linda. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... Yeah. <laughs> 
Sheriff Green. We should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie. Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Thanks, but probably shouldn't drink on the job. You sure? <laughs> Oops, I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. <laughs> None of that. I shook out my many unrequited love affairs with long-dead authors. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> that I'm a corpse crusher? That this town's not worthy of you. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the Earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke down, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe we should Go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Second my mom comes home, it's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety, splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, ma'ams. I'm still not sure I... I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Oh. 
probably the only one that... Yeah. Hideout. Freaks don't. No one ever found it before. You sure? Robert went to get his dad. Where's Chris? The door. It, 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 it pulled her. She's gone. Chris is gone. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna go check it out. You should get him some air. Outside. <laughs> So she didn't go through here. you be able to tell us? Okay. Okay. I gotta get back to Jaime and Bonnie. I should go back and find the others. Jaime and Bonnie must be waiting outside. Gotta wait for Linda. Linda! Did you find anything? Jaime? Uh, he's okay, but not okay. I think there was something with them that gave him that cut on his head. Something? Like what? Uh, apparently only Chris saw it through the camera. Come on, let's go! Let's go! No! 
gotta find a way out of here. If I can find what this is hooked up to, maybe that's my way out of here. Get up there. That's my way out.
gone. I need to get to the others. Miss Castle. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Twenty years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Don't you understand what I'm saying? I... no. I'm sorry. <sighs> Just... Tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. 
And you turned her down. Right? It's not that simple. Excuse me? It's a very generous offer, and I'm not sure any of us are in a position to turn it down. Are you out of your minds? Of course you are. <laughs> you need to get the hell out of here right now, Linda. All three of you. You take your goddamn film and go. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure malignant corruption. And its hunger is unbounding. Oh! Okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Was this locked before? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Where'd he go? Why is this here? Oh God, the occult, just what I need.
is this place? sort of pattern. I really need to shut this thing down. like something from a sci-fi flick. Okay, that made something happen. That's good. knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. happened to a good old-fashioned on-off switch. Okay, one more to go.
Are you all right? <gasps> Whoa. What's wrong, young man? Uh, nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. I I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something. I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Uh, here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute. Less than a lifetime. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? She promised me freedom. <laughs> freedom? Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. She wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitting image. I wish I would've stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now it's too late. Too late? Bonnie just recently passed. It's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. Huh. That's... That's too bad. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? Uh, what happened? <gasps> what is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I, I, uh, I find him all in. Gotta find him before his, his skies are they're folding in again and it's. Uh, uh, You don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine. Now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? I think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to. I don't think it's good. All right.
Sam? 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 Hello? Sam! This is certainly something. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill? Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. It, this isn't right. <gasps> okay, that is not what we shot. Relax. What are you doing? That letter's private. It's got nothing to do with you. Who is Logan Chen? Linda. Don't you fucking lie to me. But when I stopped Frank Stone in the still mill, Back in 1963, I thought that'd be the end of it. But ever since, not a thing in my world has made sense. In any other, either. Everything, all of this, leads back to that night. And sure, I stopped him. But in the process, I caught a glimpse of the bigger picture. The stone was just a piece of something much worse. I couldn't shake the feeling that all I had done was delay the inevitable. That I was just one insignificant reflection of what actually happened. And it started to drive me crazy. Eventually, that led me to Logan Chan and the Imperiati. And they helped me to understand what I'd seen. And what I could do about it. And what I'd have to leave behind.
You do know that you sound like a raving fucking lunatic, don't you? I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. <laughs> God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me, fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? For every path taken, there exists another. Taken by a shadow self. Another reality. Another world. Worlds so close, they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel, after all. I only needed the most Perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. everyone Surely there's a way to the other side. Always need one of these.
Whoever's locker this was had some serious issues. If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Gotta be around here someplace. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off, but that's my only way out.
One to go. You're coming with me, buddy. Sounds promising. If I ever get out of this maze, I'm gonna take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just... live a little. Are you okay? Uh, but 
Bonnie? What? Ah. Oh, easy, easy. What is... What is this? It's okay, it's okay. Ah. You're... Not... Bonnie? No, I, um... Bonnie was my mom. Did you know her? Your mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Uh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We, we were in the mill. We were just shooting. We, we just finished the movie. What the hell? Oh my god, there's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me. What the hell is going on here? Who the fuck is she? After I lost you, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know! Dan. You don't want to be here. Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? Any chance that's true, I, I gotta try. My friends are in terrible danger. I, I gotta get back to them, wherever they are. I'll help you. Why don't you climb back into the uh, chamber, whatever it is? I'll see if I can figure out these controls. Keep an eye out for any uh, interruptions. Okay, uh, is there a switch on that thing? Yeah, I see it. Okay. You should flip it. Ah, Christ! Try using that pole thing. Anybody there? Please say no. Oh, 
Shit. because of this. No, no, I, I wasn't even here, man. It, it took me to like some other place and, and like there were these crazy machines and, and lights, but I don't think it was anywhere in the middle at all. Uh, you, what? I know it sounds insane, but there was a girl there. She said Bonnie was her mom, man. You're not making any sense. Chris, I, I panicked. I don't know what to say. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Look, I, I would have done the same thing. What happened to you? You were there, and then you just weren't. Oh, man. Chris, whatever happened, we can, we can try to figure it out. But now is not the time. Great. Let's get the fuck out of here. How do we get the fuck out of here? There's the storm drain that could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. <sighs> it's coming. I don't see anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. Getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. This night just keeps going and going. Yeah. But you know something? We were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Well... You know what I mean. Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't? Well, what do we do now? Kinda only got one option, you know? Which is? Get the fuck out of here as soon as humanly possible. What about Linda? Powder! <sighs> Hopefully we'll just run into her along the way. So you want to tell me what was going on with that kid? Kid? Girl in the sarcophagus. I don't know much more than you do. She said she knew my mom, but... It didn't make any sense. Not much around here does lately. I wish I had more time to talk to her. I just hope she got back to wherever she was trying to go. Doors, 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 doors. Maddie, stop saying doors. Pretty something right now, not gonna lie. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What's that? 
Uh, it's a pendant. There was a picture of it in that book. It explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... Huh. Yeah. Well, maybe I should hold on to it. Just in case. Just in case it actually works? Yeah. I mean, I almost got killed once tonight. Uh, I found it, so by the ancient law of finders keepers, I kind of feel like I findered, I keepered. That bed looks pretty tempting right now, not gonna lie. Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. You think Augustine lured us in here on purpose? So she could sacrifice one of us? Looks boring. Still. Can't judge a book by its cover. It's not boring. That bed looks pretty tempting right now, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. I think Augustine lured us in here on purpose. So she could... Slick. Hmm. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? Psychological Session 5 with patient Frank Stone, March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's Augustine. Had a bad week since our last but 1961? Frank, an attack. That's on an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others to punish them i don't believe it is wholly errant these sessions are all about taking responsibility frank not just for your past but for your future too yes you have a future and it could be boundless you simply have to trust me.
Friends are creepy. That's just a fact. You need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. Oh, great. Out of the frying pan? I don't like any of what's going on anymore. I think we should just get the fuck out. Is this the movie you made? Yeah, it is. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? No, 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 it was right here. It, it was right in here. Do you still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of, might have already made a deal with Augustine. before anybody else got here. I, I just went ahead. You didn't know. How could you know? I swear, if I had any idea whatsoever what a fucking whack job Augustine would turn out to be, I, I would have asked for at least double. And then I would have said, no, thank you, and hightailed it right out of here, hand over heart. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, Stan. Hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here?
That's not what happened. That never happened. Never. I, uh, think it's about time I just kind of made my exit. <laughs> We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But, Dad... Don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Back here, the nightmare repeating itself. I gotta find them. Maybe it's the key to all of this. This isn't right. It feels like he's here.
Linda. These monstrosities are everywhere. No time to waste on this. Stand. Go. Get out. I'll hold it off. Did we stop it? Is it... is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do.
You got your damn movie. What more do you want? You! You lied to me! I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't! You promised me! It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died! You knew I was grieving, and you took advantage of me! A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for, and a lot of hell to pay! from the power cut? Shit! That's how we got down here. There has to be another way out. Please tell me you understand what... Uh, what? What the fuck just happened back there? Yeah. Believe me. I wish I knew. If we can get that working, we could probably power the elevator. Let's try it.
Do you think that picks the elevator? I guess we're gonna find out. How the fuck did I ever end up here? Madison, I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. The fuck are you? What have you done? Ah, uh, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelette without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. I have never lied to you. Oh, give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain. All this trauma. Gone. You just need to tell me you want me to. Let me just think it over. Go fuck yourself. Then I'm so very sorry for you. No, you're not. Frank, and I'll do it again if I get the chance.
Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. These lifetimes of toil and torment, all for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. Advice for your old gal, Maddie Bear Mom. Sure could use a little help right now. Any help at all? Thanks. Okay, now this can't be real, right? It's not really there. Are we sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. 
but we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's in there, all right. What do we do with it? We, uh... We separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can, and we never, never let them come back together again. be our only option. I can't believe I'm actually suggesting this, but why can't we just burn the film? If this film strip really is holding him somehow, destroying it completely might just set him free. We can't let it hurt anyone else. That's the bottom line. Okay. Okay. The film strips never should have come back together. Next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? Sure, where I am. Then memory floods back, and I know our world is gone, consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. Little freak. It's you. We made it. We made it out. Not all of us. Oh, Stan. My God. What happened? What happened, happened. 
And there is no more Stan. I thought you were a goner after what happened. I've been gone before, but I always come back. What did happen to Augustine? I saw her on my way out. And? She had something she wanted to say, but it wasn't worth hearing. Who are they? They were here long before I came. I don't like this. We need to keep going. Come on. Go where? Why haven't you left this campsite? Why are you just sitting here? The only thing we can do is help each other. As much as we can be helped. Whether killing or surviving, the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice, from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. 